What is this place? Oh, are you looking for the secret tunnel that normal cars can't enter? Wow, you've heard of it too, Keisuke? You're right. We heard it connects to the subway, which means we might be able to get out from there. I see. You're right. If not many people know about it, it might be lightly guarded. Is that how it works? It was close yesterday. We thought we were going to get shot. But that could have been a coincidence, so it's worth another try. False move and I will shoot to kill. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a minute. Don't shoot. I already know you've been controlling demons. Now hurry up and send them away. It's your fault so many lives are in danger. Huh? What do you mean? You're not the ones who summoned the demons? And we're victims here too. Sure, we have comps, but we're just using them to stay alive. That's right. We fought demons lots of times and helped out whoever we could. The Shomokai made those comps, correct? Are you members of the Shomokai? Since you didn't summon your demons even at gunpoint, I guess I can trust you. You really don't know, do you? All right. I'll tell you what I can. You're not wrong. The demons appearing is the reason for this lockdown. When the government realized they were using demons, the lockdown plan was approved. It was timed perfectly, so they were all gathered in Tokyo. Who's they? In any case, unless the situation changes, no one gets in or out. The surface, the underground, the rivers, even the air, everything's locked down. B but we're human! If you have to lock things in, do it to the demons! And why the entire Yamanote Circle? What madman would involve so many people? Say what you want. But we're willing to go to extremes to prevent demonic infestation. But, but, that has nothing to do with us. I just, we all just want to go home. Let us through. Don't force me to use this. <sighs> I don't want to, but I'll do it. This isn't a threat. It's a promise. For the sake of Japan as a whole, I won't hesitate over a single life. <clears throat> Akasaka Tunnel. Understood. Action as before. Over. A group of demonstrators trying to pierce the blockade at Ueno were just shot and killed. Huh? Did you really just say... I said the SDF just shot and killed civilians trying to break through a blockade. They rushed Ueno Station. Ten fatalities and over a hundred injuries. This is... Damn it! Do you understand now? We can't let you people out no matter what. But... Look, we're desperate too. You have to understand... Locking down Tokyo was always a hard decision for the government to make. Supplies are low. Without electricity, hospital patients have been virtually abandoned. Thousands of innocent civilians are in harm's way now. And even areas other than Tokyo are facing political and economic upheaval. But all that chaos is still preferable to losing the entire nation to demons! Listen, no conventional weapon has had any effect against the demons so far. We have to find an effective countermeasure, as well as the reasons for their appearance. We must do anything we can to exterminate their kind. We understand what you're telling us, but if I may, who are you? I am Captain Misaki Izuna. I'm a member of the Special Counter Demon Squad, here to eradicate the enemy. Counter Demon Squad? Is that with the SDF or the police? If you're a captain, then... I'm not with the SDF or the police. I have authority over them both at present. Our rank is assigned according to the chain of command as per the mission. Since we're using the SDF's chain of command, I'm calling myself a captain for now. Anyway, there isn't much time left. If you have any information, any at all, I think you should tell me. Four days. Could that be... No, that's not possible. 
I'll do everything in my power to prevent it. You do know something, don't you? I'm sorry. I'm not at liberty to say anything more. Now go back the way you came. <laughs> go! Hurry! So it was the government that ordered the lockdown. Because of the demons. Not only that, it looks like they're quite serious about enforcing it. I don't think they'll let any demons or cops outside the perimeter, no matter what. Feels that way to me, too. From the looks of it, they've got every inch under guard. Face it, there's probably no way out of this lockdown. Damn it! I don't believe this! So, what then? Are you saying we'll never get out of the Yamanote Circle? But that we're just gonna die? Hell no! I can't accept that! Yeah, he's exactly right. What do you mean? Just what I said. Neither he nor myself said a word about giving up. Huh? But you just said there's no way out. Right. There's no way out of the lockdown, which means we have to get rid of their reason for putting it up in the first place. Wait a sec. Get rid of the reason? You don't mean... Don't tell me you plan to get out by taking on the self-defense force. Yes. There's no way we'd propose something like that. The reason we're talking about is the demons. The purpose of this lockdown is to seal in the demons and the comps that summon them. If we eliminate or neutralize those two factors, the lockdown loses its purpose. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see that. But how are we going to pull that off? Yes. Our only way out is to think of a way to accomplish this. I had a feeling it would come to that. But our death clock is down to zero, isn't it? Will this really work? True. Maybe we should focus on fighting this Belder demon for the time being. But everyone can think about a way to expel the demons and discuss when we get a chance. But, but Belder's immortal. If we're up against a demon like that, will we have time to think about anything else? Yes, you're right. If we give up before we start, we'll never accomplish anything. Belder's a demon. Let's look for people well-informed about demons and mythology. If we ask them, we might be able to find out something we can use. Uh, all right. Then we need info on Belder and hints on how to deal with demons, right? If that's settled, then let's hurry and get this show on the road. Come on, everyone. tell Yuzu, because she gets scared. But I wanted you to know something. You know how we met that special forces woman earlier? It sounded like the government isn't letting anyone out of the Yamanote circle. If they can't deal with the situation, the lockdown will keep going. But they aren't demon tamers. Do you think people like them can solve this mess? Yeah, I don't think they can do it either. If they can, of course, that's fine. But I think we should act under the assumption that they're going to fail. It's like the death clock, kind of. We gotta find a way to avoid that fate. Ah, the more we talk like this, the more depressed we get. I'm sorry, let's stop here. Oh, and whatever you do, don't tell Yuzu about this conversation. She's adamant that she can go home. <laughs> She'd be furious if we even bring it up to her. Besides, it's not cool for a guy to make a girl nervous, you know. <laughs> Was that Naoya? Hurry, after him or we'll lose him. Not again. Looks like we lost track of him. Hey, that's one fine miss you've got with you. Is she available? Well, what's this guy's deal? W what? Hey, cut that out. <laughs> fine, fine. Don't get old Ben out of shape. Hmm? Hey, now that I get a good look at you, you're... Well, well, so it's you, just like now you said. This really is amusing. Sure I do. 
He has a very interesting way of thinking. Say, have you ever given any thought to your own future? Your destiny? Your death clock currently reads zero, doesn't it? So you'll die soon, no question. The agent of your death is the leader of Lament, the immortal unifier of demons, Belder. No one can stop his coming. The banquet of blood will begin. Amid their lamentation, humans will fall prey to Belder, and you will be among the dead. Tell me, what do you plan to do about it? <laughs> you will, huh? <laughs> well, since it involves you, I'll tell you this. You can never escape from Bell. Now, shall I give you one last piece of advice before I bid you adieu? The immortal Belder has long been protected by a vow all living beings agreed to. The terms of the vow forbid any of them from bringing harm to dear Belder. But there was one being that was overlooked. It's here, inside this lockdown. If you succeed in finding it, even you might be able to thwart his attacks. He disappeared! Who was that guy? He knew Nelia, and he was talking about Belder. Whoever he was, he's not normal. But that aside, what was that story he told us about? A single being that didn't swear the vow. He said it's inside the lockdown somewhere, but is he for real? I don't know. He didn't seem like he was kidding around, though. I don't know whose side he's on, but I think what he told us could be valuable. Yeah, ideally we could escape without running into this Belder. But judging by what we just heard, I don't think that's possible. As that guy said, we have to look for the one thing that didn't take the vow. But where, though? Who would possibly know about it? The comp. You really think we'll find the answer there? I wish we could talk to Nalia, but we can't find him. He did make the comp, though. So maybe checking the comp wouldn't be such a bad idea. All right. We'll keep that in mind while we look. Come on. Let's get going. We're gonna survive. <laughs> 